In about a week or so, the Attack on Titan X Vanguard bundle will be dropping, so you know what time it is. Welcome back to reviewing, reviewing Call of Duty, Call Duty Vanguard, Vanguard Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Unfortunately, if I go to check the Vanguard store right now, we don't have it in the store quite yet, so we can't review it here. From what I can see so far, some of the finishing moves have gotten leaked, so you can kind of see what that's gonna look like. There's different videos that are showing off the main skin, which just, oh my god, it's getting shit on so hard. Like, everyone's saying that it just looks terrible. The finishing moves have gotten some praise for actually looking kind of badass, but not the skin itself. I'll probably get destroyed for this as well, but I have haven't seen Attack on Titan, at least not like all the way through. I think Karina showed me like one episode. I don't know if she's seen the whole show. She's definitely seen more of it than me, but yeah. As far as it goes for other cosmetics, we have the Neon Dragon. I already said that I was gonna be poking fun at this because the skins in the store are going to get less and less realistic as time goes on. Not historically accurate. I don't think puke green was in the color palette during World War II back then, so yeah. It just keeps getting better and better. Out of the wreckage. I don't know if I saw this one. I mean, I, yeah, nothing too crazy here. Bone bludgeon. I think what typically happens with the Call of Duty cosmetics is that they end up looking like this, and then they're kind of just like too boring, so then they end up releasing, like, more crazy shit later on. I wouldn't buy this bundle. Broken resolutions. I mean, maybe someone will buy this for Beat Rice. She auditioning for Blue Man Group? What is this? Squid Games alternate? I don't know. Fizzy Chaser MVP highlights. Oh. Nice. That's great. Exactly what this game needed. Uncorked highlight intro. That oh, God. No! No! <laughs> What is that face, man? Oh my, look at this. Execution underscore generic underscore leprechaun 01. What? Why are they calling it the leprechaun? I, I don't understand. That had nothing to do with the leprechaun! And then you have the cover charge assault rifle. I mean, this bundle is kind of hilarious. Tropic Garia. It's a Halima skin. Okay, that's whatever. Blood cold shotgun. Oh, you got a kill cam theme. Oh, sweet. You got the scorpion and the lion. Paradise lots. Another Halima skin. Yeah, this doesn't look very good. These kill cam themes. Are the same kill cam. <laughs> They're just so like generic and bland looking. I, I don't know. When's the XO clown coming? You know you want to bring him back. Which, by the way, thank you guys so much for the support on the advanced warfare video. You guys broke 10,000 likes. So I'll be doing some more throwback Call of Duty stuff soon. But there actually is a lot of stuff going on with Vanguard, kind of, I think. So I figured I'd hop back on. It actually has been a while for me. Where's the new SMG? There it is, well gun. Get 10 kills with an SMG while aiming 15 times. What? Is there a faster way to get this in zombies? God, Vanguard zombies. Oh, yeah. I saw that Vanguard zombies might actually be saved because they're bringing back in the survival aspect, like unlimited rounds. I don't know how it works though. I haven't played it. Still the same map. I think you have to pick a certain objective and just stay there. You can't leave the objective. You can't do anything else if you want to actually experience unlimited rounds. I don't know. It sounds weird. I don't know how it's going to play out, but we're going to check it out. In zombies, get five rapid critical kills with an SMG during 50 different portal objectives. That's evil. I have no idea if Vanguard zombies is saved or not. I don't know exactly how much this is going to fix for Vanguard zombies and how much it's actually going to appease the zombies community. Kind of feels like we need a brand new map that has unlimited rounds like in the past zombies maps Not just picking one specific objective and then staying there forever. I could be wrong though. Maybe this is gonna revolutionize everything This is lit. Oh, there we go. Another rapid kill Oh, that's the boom shrier. Here comes the boom shrier. Here comes the boom shrier. The auto ones really want it now. I thought they added inspections into this game too. Wait, where is it? What? Oh, weapon inspect. Oh, only in multiplayer. Oh, that's why. You can't inspect in zombies. Okay. Is there any explanation why you can't inspect weapons in zombies? I'm doing it. Oh, we can see the challenge progress. How are we doing? All right, I've done it three times. Wow. Pickle punch. There we go. Let's see if this counts at all. I don't know if this is gonna count for the progress. Let's check it out. I don't know if this is gonna do anything. It does not, no. You have to go through a portal and do something, okay. This is so easy, but I'm not even getting progress. Or am I? I'm not getting progress, what? Don't tell me this shit's not tracking. That would be the first time that weapon camos are not tracking properly in Vanguard. I don't understand why things don't work in this game. Armor shard? Put it on. Why does it show up as a bouncing Betty? What? I love how everything in Vanguard works flawlessly. Camos track properly. Skins look amazing. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Are you going to get the Attack on Titan bundle? Do you think it looks good? Do you think it looks horrible? I definitely want to hear from people who have seen the show before and what they think of the skin because I haven't really seen it. It'd be like if they added a Ron Swanson skin and it looks terrible. Like if you haven't seen the show, then you're not really going to know exactly what's going on. But as someone who's watched Parks and Rec way too many times, like I would know if it's shit or not. So I mean, my opinion on the bundle doesn't really matter that much. I just want to know what you guys think. 
See, I'm doing the challenge right now during the portal objective. You can barely even stay in these portal objectives and get the gun unlocks. Like, this is so infuriating. It's still not tracking. Upgrade the weapon. We'll double pack. There we go. I think it's been a couple weeks since I played Vanguard, man. I mean, that's crazy. It's such a weird thing being on this game because I don't really think it's like a bad Call of Duty game. I'm just not interested in playing it. Hopefully when this is over, like all this shit will count. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be pissed. Someone died. Way to go. How do you die in this? It's so easy. <laughs> what? What was that voice? Oh, I could curl up and sleep. So satisfying. Huh. I hate whatever this creature is. All right, it's dead. There's so many of these juggernauts coming around. Like, what is this? Why are there so many? Jesus Christ! Isn't this where you get jug? I don't know why I haven't gotten more health yet. I unlocked Shiganori? What? Wait, for real? I thought you had to get 20 executions in multiplayer. Is it easier to get them unlocked than zombies? This is the most intense zombies gameplay ever. Vanguard zombies is great! I've probably already done this challenge like 20 times over. It's just not gonna count. Doesn't matter if it happens here or if it happens to the portal. It's just, it's not gonna track. I don't know if we're supposed to do the void objective. This might be the one where you can get the unlimited round objective going. I wanna try it out. Let's go. I don't care about doing anything else. I just want classic zombies back. They denied it. Come on. Uno mas por favor. There we go. All right. You'll test the very limits of your skill very limits of our skill. Does he mean that it's unlimited rounds? Ooh, yeah, it has the unlimited thing. Infinite rounds. Classic zombies is back. Not really, though. I, there's there's the dead eye. Wait, can we open this up? Oh, you can't open this. You can't go anywhere. Hey, guys, we brought back Shino Numa, but you only get to play 0.1% of the map. Did I just get a, a camo unlock called Anal Graph? Throw a monkey bomb down for one zombie. Wow. <laughs> so it says you can survive or flee. You can go back or you can just keep playing this objective. This is like the perfect objective for trying to get the new SMG, but it's not tracking, so fuck us, right? It was supposed to be something good, but it's only kind of good. The void cannot be defeated. Wait, what? It's, it's taking us back anyway? Oh, come on. So much for unlimited rounds. We only got to play like four. It, it, what is this? We'll consume you, mortals, and then your whole world. What is this? Is this the boss? We're getting eaten by him? Oh, oh, cool. Is there actually a boss? I have no idea what's going on. Why is Kraft Mac and Cheese talking to us now? What is happening? Yo, straight up, I'm getting more XP and shit unlocked just by playing zombies versus multiplayer. Maybe zombies will make a comeback for Vanguard. I mean, I really don't know. When I made my first and only zombies video for Vanguard, people thought I actually liked it. I was just being sarcastic as hell the whole time. <laughs> it would be pretty interesting to see Vanguard zombies come back and actually have brand new round-based zombies maps. Go back to the original formula that people actually like and want to play. Not whatever the hell this is. I still don't understand this. Final pack a punch. There we go. There we go. I don't have enough for the next one. I didn't have this the whole time, increasing my crit damage. No X filling. We're staying. Even more increased damage. Nice. Give me even more. Give me even more. Give me even more. Oh, wait. Oh my God. I think I understand. I think there's only three different portal objectives that you can do like once per match. So if you end up redoing a certain portal objective, it doesn't count. Man, that is so dumb. I can see why people stopped caring about Vanguard. Why do they make it artificially difficult to get stuff done? If it's too fair, they won't buy from the store. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't even know what's going on. Throw the monkey bump. Do it. <laughs> they want to get out of here. They're like, fuck this. <laughs> the X-Fell is really hard, by the way. This is the hardest part of the whole entire game. The fake portal escape. I'm going to do it. Here we go. We win. This is still the corniest thing to me. I can't believe there's no actual teleport. It just fades to black. <laughs> Killed almost a thousand zombies and I probably won't even be that close to having it done. If my calculations are correct, yeah. Wait, oh, I got 13. Wait, how did I only get 13? I did so much. I don't know if it's gonna take time for more of it to load or not, but I mean, that's kind of bullshit. I killed so many zombies. I did way more than just that. And here's the new feature in Vanguard, weapon inspections. Wait, how do you even... And here's what's new in multiplayer. Do the inspect. Are they not actually in the game yet? Yeah, weapon inspect. It doesn't even work. I want a refund. Oh, why does nothing work with this game? But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me randomly reviewing bundles and the attack on Titan bundle and playing zombie. I don't even know what this was. But if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more Vanguard for whatever reason, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. We are taking the lead. Above me, on our ammo supply.